this is blank out of the book. Show me any other battle round that is more flawless. Come to in the test when the mind breaks. <laughs> Got the weird song for you But do, do, do You love me, ba, ba I sound like I am blue Do, do, do Do, do, do Do, do, do It's all because I'm loving you Yo, what's up, current and future beatboxers? Welcome back to another analysis video with your boy, Maddox from Berlin. As always, I made a poll and you finally voted for 2H versus Alexinho. My gosh, that took a long time, but it was worth it. This is probably my most favorite battle, so I'm really glad that I can analyze it today. If you also want to join the poll next time, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and always check the community page. Before I'm gonna analyze the video, I will check the comments first. Let's read some comments! <laughs> Codfish was commenting, seeing this battle live was the best experience of my life. Man of culture, I agree. Everybody, literally everybody, I swear to God, it's everybody. Me, waiting for Maddox to read out of my comment and reply it back. Ah, oh, Dark Angel, I need some more creativity. Next time be creative with a comment and I'm gonna reply, for sure. 2H, I'm mad. Alexinio, I'm Ox. Meanwhile, Maddox, people of culture. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, man. Man of culture, I gotta reply to that. 7.40, BBK having Vietnam War flashback. Oh my gosh. As a musician, I have to highlight the fact that in 2H second round at 4.27, he's making a compound rhythm. Ooh. Something that as a pianist is easy to do with both of my hands or with two fingers, but with only one mouth is difficult. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, I still don't know how to do it. 2H second round build was very unique, a very different style of beatboxing. The only problem is that Alexinho's counter was just on a different level. Probably the best rebuttal of beatbox. Come to in the test when the mind breaks. <laughs> Interesting thought, we'll look into it later. 640, come Dwayne, I just want to buy bread. Come Dwayne, I just want to buy bread. <laughs> <laughs> Best way to understand what they are doing and trying to say is to see Maddox analyze. Man of culture! One year later and I'm still trying to recover from 2H second round. Best? Please, three years later, I still didn't recover. <sighs> oh boy, here comes the Maddox analysis comments. P.S. Maddox, if you read this, nice beard. Thank you, bro. Man of culture! No one. Maddox? Cool, let me analyze that. Evil laugh. <laughs> 520 is called Swiss beatbox technique. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Guys, did you actually know that this sound is made by me? Only insiders know that, and now you are one of those. Okay, Maddox will analyze this, and I'm here because... Read more. I'm a man of culture. Yes, you are! 640, Twitch just looked at Alex and said, I'm done. Come to in the test when the mind breaks. Oh, it's so painful, especially if you know that we kind of forced to age. I'm gonna tell you the story later. 2H smile at the end of Alexinius round made this for me. These two guys have clearly both inspired each other. True beatbox love. <laughs> Who's waiting for Maddox to analyze here? By the way, at 6.55, all the crowd turned into BBK. <laughs> That's how you get the man of culture. He mentioned me and he was funny. Man of culture. Okay guys, little challenge for you next time. Mention me in the comment section of the video and show me the best moment in the video or make a joke that is worth reading and you will get the man of culture as well. Maddox, analyze Ozzy with his beard. It was for beard no matter what. <laughs> Dude, you're so desperate, you're commenting here? <laughs> okay, this was super brave, so I'm gonna put it in the next poll. Man of culture! I listened to 2H second round for like 107 times. Rookie numbers. Listen, Maddox, if you're going to analyze this video without the subtitles, you're crazy. Okay, 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 I'm gonna switch it on, bro. I really love the camera movements. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Maddox, Maddox, Maddie, Moody, Moo, Maddox, Maddox, say to me the man of culture too. <laughs> Man of culture, bro. Man of culture, bro. Give whoever did the captions a race. I don't know who did it. If you know, tell me, please. Seriously. Me on my first tennis training, 238. <laughs> yeah, he made it really popular. So stupid. 7-5. Even Darny wanted to see if he could do the double voice. Lol. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
<laughs> oh my gosh, this one killed me. <laughs> 620, see this new scratching technique. <laughs> Ash, guys, in case you have seen this video without subtitles, you have been doing it wrong. Died crying from laughter and nearly ashed myself. Oh, so much pressure. Okay, okay, I know. 654, helicopter landing on stage. <laughs> For me, it sounds more like horses. <laughs> I have to say this was one of the most craziest battles ever. The crowd, the beatbox, the tennis ball, but most importantly, the subtitles. Okay, okay, I get it. I will switch it on. Gene always made a correct decision. Ah, okay, he voted for 2H. Wow, he was the only one. Time for the Manox analysis video. Yes, I personally think 2H won this battle, but I wonder what you think. Let's analyze that. That was for sure the one of the weirdest two edge routines. So guys, this was the first round of Twitch and it's, I think it's really hard to judge that. On one hand, it sounds really weird sometimes what he's doing, but still, it's so super clean, man. I mean, especially three years ago, people needed to get used to this double voice thingy that Twitch was doing. So it still sounded really weird, but then he has a lot of control over it. There's like this strange voice crack and at the beginning, it kind of sounds weird. It almost feels like he didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> But then he keeps repeating it and then you realize, my gosh, he has control over this. So I understand that some people didn't enjoy this one because it was really weird. But I really love this routine because it's original. I also really love the confidence of Twitch on stage. He knows exactly what he's doing and it feels like it's super easy for him to beatbox. If you practice your beatboxing to this level, man, then you don't need to think about your routine and struggling on stage. But you can be more aware of what's happening around you, what's happening in the crowd, at the judges table and what is your opponent doing. And that's how you can deliver a sick performance. So for everyone who wants to perform on stages in future, keep this in mind. I also really love how he's f***ing with Alexino on stage all the time, man. <laughs> it's so good. And it also fits to his character. I also really enjoy this little transition he has with his clicks and hi-hats. It doesn't sound really complicated to do, but it keeps the flow. So while he's doing his transition, you still feel like you want to bounce to that. Man, and then his drop, it was something else, man. I really love this one. Again, it's not a really usual beatbox drop. So I guess that's the problem that the crowd wasn't going insane. But for me, it was a really sick one. You also can see in the faces of the judges that they are really confused. <laughs> because they don't understand what is going on right there. Then he got into this transition where he does multiple snares and uh, I didn't like this one. It was really unclean, really unusual for 2H. <laughs> I can tell he probably did this on purpose, but I don't buy this one, bro. And then the end of it with his cuff snares and then this kissing sound, it was so disrespectful. <laughs> 
but in a really funny way. So it fits really well to his character on stage. So overall, I need to say this round was really experimental. Um, it was really clean, it has a nice structure, and Twitch was performing it really well. But as this is a bell, I wanted to see a little bit more energetic beats. I was missing this one really energetic moment where the crowd and the judges just go crazy. All right, let's get into Alexinius' first round. Let me analyze that. <laughs> With the response, Alexinius from France. I say the two, you say the turn the up. Two. Snares and stuff. The subtitles. DDK, man. <laughs> Something different. Oh. <laughs> Too much be like. Ah. Solid. So Alexinho right away started with flowing on stage. I really love how he's standing in front of the stage and just like dancing to his own beat. It really makes you want to bounce with him too. So this is a really nice performance element. Then he got into this really odd rhythm and I really love this one. And again, especially how he's performing this beat, man. It's just so nice. The way he's dancing to it. It's kind of like he's visualizing what he's doing right now and it really helps to sell the beat. So again, really sick performance element. He really feels what he's doing on stage. Then he kept on going with this crazy flow. And I really love the patterns he's doing, but for me the section was a little bit too long. After that he went into this tennis ball routine and the beginning was hilarious. Oh my gosh, I was dying when I saw this live. Full of the tennis ball. Full of the tennis ball. And it was a really nice setup for a sick drop, but then the drop of it was ah. Uh... <laughs> He messed it up so much. Oh, you can tell that he didn't have a lot of control over the tennis ball sound. So the kicks and snares around the tennis ball sound were just super weak, man. And also, what the hell is he doing with his voice there? It just sounds so awkward, man. Then he went back into a pattern with a crazy poly rhythm. And I really loved this one, but at the same time, he already showed crazy patterns at the beginning, so I was wishing to see something else there. Then I was like this typical Alexinio moment on stage where just taking the piss out of his opponent. Oh, shit. <laughs> and not many beatboxers can do something like this, but for him it really worked. It was a really funny moment. And then he was ending his run with a really nice vocal bass section. <laughs> And I really love the flow in this. And he also showed like he can control the crowd. Like everyone was bouncing. He was cutting away the beat, but still kept the people bouncing. This was also a really, really sick performance element. So yeah, that's the first round of both of them. I would say both had really original ideas as well as performed really funny stuff on stage. But then Alexinio had this whole section with this tennis ball sound that 
didn't really pay off. It was just too sloppy. On the other hand, we had 2H who was most of the times really clean, except this ending with this strange snare combo. But the rest for me was really sick. It was kind of weird, but it was really original. And that's what we're looking for at GBB. Originality. So for me, the first round definitely goes to 2H. Let's continue with the second round of 2H. Let me analyze that. Legendary snare. so good. I watched this a thousand times already. It's still insane. He started with countering Alexinio's technical parts. And to be honest, he wasn't really answering to any of Alexinio's patterns. Nothing. But the message was more like, yo, technical stuff, that's easy, bro. And the way he was saying nothing was just gold. <laughs> Nothing. So yeah, even though he wasn't countering a part of Alexinio, it still worked for me. Then he got into this little siren melody and I really love this part. The melody is not too complicated or something, but it's really catchy, man. <laughs> And that's how to start into a round. Be catchy. And then he got into a really basic house beat. And my first thought was, mm, yeah, it's fine. It's clean, but it's not really special. <laughs> but then he was transitioning in this part where he has this click that goes against the rhythm. And this is so mind blowing for me. <laughs> I still don't understand how he's doing in such a clean way. Also, while listening to this, take extra care about the details, like the transition that he has in between, the clarity of each sound. This is just insane. <laughs> then he got into this beat with his famous 2 h snare. Let's I think after this, everyone wanted to know how he's doing it. So he wasn't fishing around with his punchline, inspire other people. He was actually inspiring the whole beatbox community with just one sound. Let's inspire other people. And then comes the legendary pattern, man. Only the build up was incredible already. Yeah. I still don't understand how he's doing this pattern, but it's so insane because it sounds so flawless. Every single sound is so super clear. And at the same time, nothing really sounds forced. It's just so flawless and has so much flow, man. <laughs> And then comes this famous vocal line. <laughs> and it's so funny because it's so simple. I mean, honestly, this is not even a real punchline, but it's so catchy and so recognizable. And then in the drop, he literally was just adding the kick, but it was so mind blowing because it was just not understandable how he was doing this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's 
Okay. And then in the end, he was going crazy with like technical stuff and man, he was destroying it. <laughs> So for me guys, for real, if you want to see a flawless routine, this round is the most flawless round I ever saw in any battle. For real. Every sound is placed so well, everything is super clean, it's super sick arranged. My gosh, it was flawless, it was powerful, it was performed really nice. He was controlling the stage by how he was moving there, he was controlling the crowd. He was super confident while he was doing it. Show me any other battle round ever that is more flawless. I'm gonna wait for that one. Let me analyze that. All right, let's get into Alexinho's second round. It is a minute 30, second round on Alexinho from France. I said the toi, you said the turn the uh, in toi. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> So Alexinho started with a really easy sucker punch routine at the beginning and then was building it up slowly. And it already was a really complex beat that he was doing there. Then he got into his transition and there already he kind of got exhausted. He was trying to catch a breath in between. You can feel that he was struggling with it. So it wasn't that flawless. Then he got into this transition where he also used a sucker punch and added some snares to it. And for my taste, the transition was a little bit too long. can make such long build-ups, but then you need to have more variation inside. And then comes this famous part where he's dissing 2H with his own sound so much. And the reason why people were driving so crazy at this moment was because this sound was so new. 2H never did it at any event ever before. So it was pretty much impossible that someone heard the sound before. Except if he was hanging out with 2H a week before. And here comes the problem. Oh, 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 so me and Papuni were doing an artist work with 2H and Alexinu a week before the GBB. And 2H was announcing that he has a new crazy sound, but he didn't want to show us. Then me and Papuni were so hyped that we were forcing him to show it to us. He was like, begging, begging, please show it to us. Then he was showing it to us and we went crazy for it. We wanted to hear it more and more and more and more because we couldn't believe it. This is a human sound. And the thing was, Alexinu was in the same room while this was happening. So he picked up the sound of 2H and tried to learn it by himself. And he pulled it off. Yeah, so probably you can blame it on me, Papuni. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, even then, the fact that he learned it in between one week and then was able to pull it off on stage and integrate it as a punchline in his own routine. 
Big ups for this one, man. And people went nuts for this one. My gosh, man. <laughs> but I have to be honest with you, the beat was really sick but it wasn't as flawless as 2H beats. Some sounds in between weren't super clean and sometimes he was really struggling to do it. And then he was transitioning into an even more energetic part and again used this double voice and people went nuts again. <laughs> But then again, especially the beginning of this part wasn't really clean. You can tell that he was out of breath. Yeah, but still people were hyping this so much. The fact that he was copying a new 2H sound on the spot made them go insane. And I can totally understand the hype around it. But to be honest, I think the judges were a little bit too much affected by the crowd reactions. Yes, crowd response is really important, but it's not everything. Yeah, so based on the points I was mentioning, I think if I would be a judge, I would vote for 2H still. Alexinho had the most hyped moment, of course, but you need to see both rounds as a whole. And to me, 2H was way more flawless than Alexinho. Alexinho was a little bit more energetic at the end of his second round, but 2H had way more control of his routines in both rounds. So yeah, I'm really sorry judges, but I have to disagree with you here. Also comparing the dynamics of the second round of 2H and Alexinho, 2H was showing so much variation in his second round, man. The melody was really catchy, the build-up was insane with this polyrhythm and the click. Then he had this really sick moment with the 2H snare that was really new at this point. No one was able to do it in this moment, but the snare was so powerful. Powerful. And then he was getting into his last drop that was the most flawless drop ever. Looking at Alexinho's dynamics, he was using pretty much the same sound for the whole round. He was just speeding it up. So both in dynamics and flawlessness, 2H was winning this for me. Let me analyze that. Alright guys, let's finish this video. <laughs> Make some noise! Make some noise! By the way, shout out to Shazam, he has a really sick channel right now as well, doing daily reactions. DBK having Vietnam flashback, oh my god. We're gonna figure out who's moving on right now. Alexinho from France, 2H South Korea. You go this side, Alexinho, you go this side for 2H. Ladies and gentlemen, help me out, I said three, y'all say the two and the one. Let's find out who won that battle. In three! Yeah, so everyone was voting for Alexinho except Gene. Yeah, Gene, I'm with you, bro. Alexinho had one of the most sickest battle moves ever, but in everything else, 2H was better. Make some noise for Alexinho! And make some noise for 2H! Wow. Yeah, sometimes I'm wondering what happened if 2H would win this one. This would mean that his and 2H would meet in the semifinals. Wow. This would be an insane Korean battle. Wow. How would this turn out? Probably would stay a fantasy of mine. All right, guys, that's it with this video. Quick and easy. If you enjoy my content, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. And if you're a man or woman of culture, press the join button and join the membership program. Alright guys, that's it with this video. Hope to see you soon. 